Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are we all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be covering that video that has surfaced of Boss Man D'Lo being taken into um, police custody. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments, and please turn on your notifications. So, you guys, Boss Man D'Lo, you know, he's new to the scene, or he's new to us. He's finally broken into the mainstream audience. And, um, you know, they want, they want people to believe that these rappers all start off from drug dealing, and then they launder the money into a successful rap career. And it's a story you know that has stuck for a long time you know future has that story Pusha T Jay-Z I mean the list goes on and on and on of rappers who supposedly used to sell a lot of drugs and now they are you know living their best life off of the rap game and again when you know better you know that that's just not true or accurate and there's a lot more to it than just like selling weight one day selling records the next day now, I'm reading this article on Double XL, and they bring up a really interesting point that this video might have actually or might have been like taken earlier this year because um, he was briefly detained um, earlier this year and he was also arrested and they claim he was in jail during COVID, during the pandemic. So, you know, again, they want it to look like, oh, yeah, he's just got like a history of like getting arrested for drug charges and drug possession and like all this other stuff. Again, from my understanding, Boss Mandilo comes from like a religious family or like a well to do family, like a lot of these people. They really didn't grow up in the struggle and in the trenches like they want us to believe. These people are not who we think that they are. They are chosen, they're picked their plants to push agendas by the industry. But I think what's really going on here again, when these people again get locked up and go to jail is they're getting programmed. I think this is like a conversation that's becoming more popular over the years because again, if these guys were really in jail, they wouldn't just be in and out of jail so quickly. And then a lot of times when they get out, you know, they're like major artists, like they, they blow up. And that's because they've clearly taken an oath, you know, or made some kind of agreement in jail or, you know, going to jail was part of, again, the programming to like, for them to have more success when they get out. Again, Gucci Mane, Gunna, and I I think the same thing is going to happen with Young Thug, Lil Wayne, T.I., like, again, the list is pretty long of of rappers who have been arrested gone to jail they go away for a little while they come out and like now they're massive artists or they're even bigger than what they were before and that's because clearly like something happened while they were there mind you again we never hear or see any pictures of them locked up you know if they were really locked up like this guy Dwayne McLean um, from DMTV2, uh, shout out to him. He always mentions like if they were really locked up, there's phones in jail. If they're really like so popular that they can't be in with general population, okay, then somebody, they're, they're not going to just be in a place all by themselves. Somebody is going to be like, oh, isn't that so-and-so? They're going to take a pic. They're going to post it on social media. Prisoners and jail house dudes these days, they have TikTok. They got people in jail on TikTok. They got people in jail on Instagram with thriving social media pages. So they, we, we would definitely see footage of these guys locked up. But that never happens because they're not really going to jail. They're not really going where we think that they're going. And again, like they just don't have the same fate or the same outcome, the same circumstances, the same experience as people who we know are really going to jail like for real it's not just as it's not just so easy to just again go to jail get out get back on your feet you know it's just not and even with like jt from city girls like again part of part of her you know glow up was you know yeah getting out of her sentence she didn't have to serve the full thing but look at her now she clearly took an oath or took a deal just like mcmill they take these deals to get out of like real shit that they're really into if they really do have a real criminal record so 
no matter how you slice this stuff guys again these people are not having the authentic jail experience boss mandilo has also been exposed for being in the dms of like some 16 year old girl he's like you know supposedly hitting on they're trying to reach out to some underage chick not surprised you know again these people have to definitely mess with younger people that's a part of the industry too it's just how they do things it's just what they do that, that that's there's nothing more i can really tell you about that like that is textbook industry behavior like you gotta get in with the young folks and then i know he just had a story about how supposedly his manager ran off with the bag from vlad tv so it's just like all this press that's out about him right now is manufactured and orchestrated it's not good press necessarily but it's press nonetheless that will keep his name in our mouth that will keep him in the headlines that will keep him somewhat relevant you know again tia kemp helped put him on and tia kemp is the baby mama to rick ross who's a very high-ranking freemason and now look at tia kemp now she's like getting all this popularity it's given it's given she took an oath too you know because the amount of popularity that she has lately is just a bit questionable a lot of again rapper baby mamas don't get this type of you know again they, they don't get this type of attention they don't get you know again some of these deals they don't get you know what i'm saying just all of this press so when people just become a little bit too popular a little bit too influential especially really soon that is a red flag so as far as boss man Lo is concerned i'm sure new music is on the way i'm sure he will continue to grow in popularity you know again he's already become really popular we now know who he is he's reached that mainstream audience but he still has you know more levels to go and all of this stuff about him getting arrested and drug this and he was moving all this weight that is just a part of the recipe to get him to move up the freemasonic ladder so let's talk in the comments you guys i mean tell me your opinions on this do you think i'm just reaching or do you think you know he really is some hometown dope boy who really just made it off of rap let's talk in the comments y'all bye